So, welcome everybody to Bioshock. We're playing through the entire remastered collection that has been released this month. So, uh, yeah, going to be playing through the entirety of Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and eventually Bioshock Infinite. And this is easily one of my uh, favourite trilogies in gaming. Uh, all of them offer a different experience. This one being my uh, personal uh, favourite from uh, that uh, decade. Uh, but yeah, all of them hold up, quite frankly. Well, I hope they do, and uh, they should do anyway, because it's all 1080p, 60 frames per second. Which is what I am now recording in. I've uh, finally decided to take the plunge and try it out with uh, this uh, series. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. has been a uh, long time since I've uh, played through this entire game. And that's the same for the second one, which I don't think I've touched for even longer than this one because I did do a uh, throwback Thursday on this game not long ago and yeah Bioshock Infinite as well not played that for a long time either but like I said I love all three of them and uh, yeah it's going to be a treat to play for them all 1960 Mid-Atlantic They told me Son you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Pretty sure I put the subtitles on, but I don't know why they didn't come up. But yeah, if you have never... Uh, try these games out yourself I highly recommend you try them out before you watch any f gameplay or anything because yeah they're fully deserving of their uh, critical praise and yeah you've got the chance to play all three of them for uh, way cheaper than it would have been to buy them individually in a uh, higher quality as well so right now is a perfect opportunity to play three, all three of them So yeah, if you haven't guessed, plane crash into the Atlantic. Yeah, that looks a lot better than it did originally. That's what's left of part of the plane. of fire then. There's a tail sinking. I remember playing through this part even way before I did that throwback Thursday episode. Just like it was yesterday to be honest. There it goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put uh, subtitles on. I don't know why it's not come on. Yeah, so why the hell did it not put it on when it was when he was talking? No idea. But there she sinks. No point watching it. You know what what an aeroplane sinking looks like just by looking at that. No gods or kings, only man. Which might have been the problem to be honest. In what country is there a place for people like me, Andrew Ryan? And one of the best bits of this game is the music. Great world building on this game. Does it so well as well. I am Andrew Ryan. 
Finally got some titles. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. Chose. Rapture. Oh god, this still get little chills through my uh, bones. Where the artist would not be insensitive, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat on your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Sets up everything perfectly in this few minutes with a plane crash and then coming down here it's like oh what's that big metal guy there and who's this Andrew Ryan Sets it up all so well, it just intrigues you right from the off. Just grabs you by the scruff of the neck and goes, throws you into this world. Yeah, and as soon as it revealed rapture, I just got bones, chilling my bones again like I did originally. Just felt like all those years ago, once again. It did come out in 2007, didn't it? Pretty sure it did. Should have looked that up before I started, to be honest. But yeah, n at least eight, nine years. <laughs> this is where it really hits home. Sets up everything perfectly, and like I said, sorry, I was just adjusting my game audio because it seemed a bit quiet to me. Where's that shortwave radio again? A scary game. Oops. Just a bit border. Any like that, Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Police splicer, seal Johnny M before they. God damn. Yeah. I found her that way. 
Alright. Didn't really hold on there. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some atom on him. Again, it sets up everything like, perfectly. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. The first half hour or so of this game is set up so perfectly. Whoa, shit. There's that tail. What I love about this game is that it sets up a world that looks intriguing, etc. But it's completely tearing it apart beyond your very eyes. Does the same thing that uh, Fallout does very well. Set up a world and then destroy it for your very eyes. It's like it did in Fallout 4, which is one reason why I really, really like that game. Who is that? I can control my. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, combat as well. You're on fire, mate. I think you should, uh, you know, sort yourself out first. Or trying to attack me. Like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you're the only 
some neat exploration in this game as well. As you can see, it all happened, well, mostly happened around Happy New Year 1959. So it's, this has been like this for a year. Is anyone wonder that it's not falling apart quickly? Any quicker? Nice Saxon. for the pistol. Like I said, it allows you to search around. See, I wouldn't have found that money or that revolver ammo or anything if I'd just followed that arrow. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. And it's got great physics as well for it using water for electricity. I know I sound like I'm reviewing it at the same time, but I have to remember I've played this game a fair bit when it originally came out. And that's the start of the fall of Rapture. See, so you, you got a hint of something there, didn't you? Went all grey. You wouldn't have noticed that if you just carried on to the left. found any of this either. Hey Brenda, you care to tell me why you had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going three weeks now? Nah, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all they can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed.
Bad move, buddy. Through some glass. Oh. That's the big daddy. She got it on him. He keeps her safe. Brutal kill that was. Save the game. How do we do that? I said press back and now I have. Oh, start. Mm. Let's just save it there. Don't want to lose any progress. Cream filled cake. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. play on the go. Now I will admit that gunplay is not my favourite part of this game, but it's functional and it works, so I'm not going to complain. Just that there are other first person shooter games out there that do do it better. I do think the uh, melee combat is really well done though. Probably uh, something I enjoy doing far more than gunplay, actually, which is a rarity to be honest. Normally, it's gunplay that I uh, prefer. Water. Let it go out so I don't hurt myself. There we go. It's two taken down with very uh, minimal used up. Any money on him? Somehow someone take, took him down. Now, as you can see, I could just go follow the arrow again, but as you can see, there's exploration to be had. Push the toilet. Follow the arrow. Neptune's bounty. Oh shit. I can't remember everything about this game. Go, 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 go. I was just collecting stuff off people. Well, splices anyway. Not really people anymore. Neva, I prefer Neva. Shit. Open the door, please. Oh, 
close call. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to well. emergency access. Should really have turned that down. Don't want to uh, interrupt the gameplay. Right, these you can buy things from. So as you can see, you can buy Eve hypos, pistol rounds, and as you can see, it's all on the dollars. So, uh, get an Eve hypo and some ammo. And this is the hacking game. It's a pretty good one, to be honest. See, it moves slowly, but you still have to work rather quickly. You have to find the right bits to connect them up. Obviously, the harder the uh, hack, the uh, the uh, quicker it goes, and they do go ro really rather quick. It's so finish. There we go. And these become your friends. So they'll fight over enemies. And protect you in general. Whoopsie Davy. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. <laughs> he got in the way. Sorry, mate. Now you can kill him. Pistol ammo on you, you were shooting a gun. So drop below here. There we go. See, worth looking around. Another pistol. Some more pistol rounds. Might only be ones and threes here and there, but it is worth it in the end. Some money. Pretty sure there was more things on that desk that I uh, didn't look at. Machine gun rounds, that kind of hints at what's coming up. Right, so that's the first part of this uh, playthrough. We're going to end it there. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a good snapshot of this game. And if you've not been convinced by now to play this game, then I don't know what will. But yeah, well and truly worth playing, for, playing it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.